I'm live again, so I hope you all will come over. Can you leave a... Hope you guys all come over because just leave in the chat that I have started a new live video. Oh boy. Nobody's watching yet. Everyone's still waiting on the other page. I'm sorry. This is part two. Part one got rudely interrupted by the internet. So this is part two. Hi. I'm glad you guys are back with me. I don't know what the deal is. We, I think we're going to have to order a, what are those called? Like a Wi-Fi booster thing because this is, shouldn't be happening here. We, we're in, in the city. Well, we're in a small town, but we're in the city. Sorry, guys. This is part two. It's going to be really confusing for people that watch later, but it wasn't you. It was me. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so and I'm right underneath the router, so I don't know what the deal is. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this will work again. Okay, but I'm showing a toilet, <laughs> and it is number 38, and it's $6 for the little North Carolina. I don't think anyone had yeah, claimed. So, Joanne. Oh, Joanne got it. Joanne got the toilet. Okay, sorry, guys. I don't know. that It's... This is every every person that goes live on their YouTube channel. This is everybody's nightmare. But I mean, the whole world's being a nightmare right now. So why not this too? Okay, let's carry on, shall we? The next item is number two. Number two. And it is this really pretty plate with a pheasant on it. Oh, it says it's a prairie chicken. It is a prairie chicken, yeah. The toilet did sell. Prairie chicken, you can't really tell. It's number two, it's $7, but this bottom part is yellow. This is like a pale pink. And I mean, who doesn't want a prairie chicken plate? I don't think that I'd eat off of it, but it, it is very, it's hard to tell, I know, but the coloring is, on this is very spring and very pretty. I had it on a plate rack displayed like that. So this is number two, and it is $7, if anyone is interested in the prairie chicken. It said, it's a guinea fowl. It might be, but it says, it says prairie chicken. And it has the artist's signature on it, and I can't read it. And who knows, this could be worth thousands of dollars. And I didn't say this before, but I'm going to say it now. If you buy any of this stuff and then you resell it, I hope you do. I am not... I do that all the time. If you're going to buy something from me and then you're going to turn around and flip it yourself, yay! I, that's the whole name of the game. So don't feel bad if you're buying something and you think, well, I can put that on eBay and get more money out of it. You probably can't. Well, you absolutely can. So don't do it. You can do that. <laughs> yeah, Joanne, you got the toilet if you still want it. So just confirm that you still want the toilet. And it is yours, girlfriend. That toilet is coming to you. Okay, the next thing I have is number 21, and it is, oh, this is really cool, it's $10.50, and it is made by Ideal, and it's these wooden beads in their original box. I'll open it up in just a second. Yeah, you missed the first part, Ashley, because my internet messed up, and let's hope that it doesn't do it again. So part one is another video, so watch part one if you want to. Um, these is really cool. It's number 21, $10.50. The cool thing about these, I don't know why there's a pencil in here, but there's pencil in here, is it does have the original beads in them. They're ideal beads, little wooden beads, all different colors. Um, cute for to make, you know, the bead strands are popular right now. They're all really colorful. It is $10.50. Or number 21. Very, very neat. And you get the pencil for free. So let me know if you want the box of Ideal Beads. $10.50 and they're number 21. Okay. And then, kind of along those same lines, hi Mama J. I have, this is number 22. And it is Royal Game of India Parcheesi. So it is this Parcheesi game box. It's in great condition. 
and on the inside now huh is it still buffering yet now i don't know it's still buffering Buffering, buffering. Oh, am I back? Everyone's saying I'm back. I am so sorry. Am I back? Let me know that I'm back. This, this is ridiculous. Okay. Third time's a charm. Let's hope so. Okay. Huh? It's loading for Emma. It never, it's, it's loading for Emma. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm probably, until we get the little puck thing, I'm probably going to have to carry, take things back to the house and do it because this, I can't do, this is not, this is ridiculous and it just drives me crazy. But let me show you this. I don't know if you had seen the first part of this. It's number 22. It's $10.50 for the vintage Royal Game of India Parcheesi. And it says it's the popular edition. And on the inside, again, I don't know that it's complete. It does have the little cups in here um, and the little tokens in there. But the cutest thing that I ever did see, look, look at the little dice. Aren't those the, they're the cutest little things? I think that there's, there's six. There's six of these little baby dice in here. So this is... Ten dollars and fifty cents. It's number twenty-two. I think those those dice are just the cutest little babies. They're little nugget dice, and I like dice. But those will probably fall out of my gumball machine. All right. Hi, Rachel. Rachel, I'm buffering all the time. So I hope that you um can see me because it's buffering a lot, unfortunately. And I hope that you're doing well in the beautiful Upper Peninsula of Michigan. All right. <laughs> The next thing is number 29, and it is this little yellow flower pot. Really cute, pale yellow. Number 29 is $6. There's no chips. There's like these little bumps on it, like part of the glaze. It's not a salt glaze, but it's just, there are little bumps on it. It is marked too many people on the Wi-Fi at the same time. It could be. Uh, it's USA. I don't know if it's McCoy though, but it's just a cute little yellow pot. It would be really pretty with succulents in it for spring, but number 29 is $6. So let me know if that's something that you would like. And you've been there, the, you saw the buffering. Yeah, it's just horrible. This next thing is really cool. And if you are a sewer, you'll like this. Um, it is number 17. It's $18. Let me get it to where I can show you. It's this little sewing box. And it opens up all accordion style like this. And then it opens up like that. And it has the spools of thread. And then it has these little stands back here. So when it's sitting, it doesn't flop down. And I do believe it opens up one time look at that and it has on each side I'm gonna dump it all out let me just get one side on each side it has the silk pin cushions so this is number 17 and it is $18 okay Sherry wants the so it's so neat let me show you the top of it I didn't show you the top of it it has this really pretty I think Sherry got it first, Sherry O'Neill. It has this really pretty um, scene, oriental scene on the top. But I think that it's really unique. And this is something that my dad had found. It has really pretty flowers on the front. So Sherry claimed it first. I know, it's so cool. I liked it too. All right. The next thing I'm going to show is this cute little thing. This was actually in my house for a while too, but... I, I, I can't keep everything. It is number four, and it is this little baby beehive yellow crockery pitcher. It's a it's number four, it's ten dollars, and it has this really pretty beehive design on it. 
Um, no, no chips, no flaws on it anywhere. Gotcha, Sharon. And it's really cool. And I like it. Kit with flowers in it on a tear tray. And I will go back. I'm watching and I will go back and, and look at everybody's number. But I know that Sherry said that sewing box I want don't know the number. So she did, she did claim that first. And I might have some more of those sewing boxes. So I'll look and see if I do. I have some that are similar. You've been trying to get on since I've started. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Yes, Lori, you were second. Um, oh, she was third. Okay, well, we'll keep, I go back and look at the chat just to make, just a double, double check. Um, it's been a mess. This is like the second part of the video. So there's two videos. So make sure that you do like, hit the thumbs thumbs up for both videos because craziness okay this next little thing is so cute it's three dollars it's number 30 and it's made this little cute made in japan collie look at him he's just so regal he is oh he says japan right there he's just or she she's like a little lassie dog she's three dollars she's number 30 and she's just she's just cute so this is number 30 and it's three dollars all right next we have a piece of made in japan piece it is also three dollars oh I, I, it's so hard lori i know oh lori gotcha cindy cindy wants the the dog this is three dollars and it is it, it's a little bit looking like luster wear but it's not quite it's really, really pretty, like a bisque or a bone china. It has this little basket with a little bird on it and this long tail. It's number 31, and it is $3. And you can see on the bottom, it's made in Japan. No chips, no cracks on it. Really, really cute. If I don't sell this, it'll probably go home with me to add to my collection. Hi, Maria. I think I already said hi to you earlier. Maria, do you want the little, is this what you're wanting? Are you wanting number, no? Oh, Emma's correcting me. I'm so glad Emma's here because that would be a hot mess if she wasn't. All right, here's another little kind of Easter thing. It is number 23. And it is also $3 and this, this little hand-blown glass egg. Linda wants number 31. This little hand blown, you can see here the Pontel mark on the bottom. It's number 23, glass egg is $3. And this would be cute in a little Easter display. So $3 for the glass egg. All right, let me lay this down so it doesn't roll off and break. And then this is about the cutest little thing I ever did see too. And it's number five, no, it's number five. This is $24, so this is also one of the more expensive things that I'm showing today. But it's a little wooden plane. Look at it. Look how little baby this is. It's a home. It's a, you can tell that it is very well made, like all these wooden planes were back in the day. Look at that inside, incest. Um, well, you all know what I mean. It's like built into the wood. Emma's laughing over here at me. It does have a little bit of a crack in the wood right there but it has the blade on the bottom this carpenter wood plane but i honestly think that this would look so cute on a shelf you know if you have a carpenter in your family a lot of people put these on their mantles it's number five and it's 24 dollars. these are hard to find they're getting harder and harder to find um dowel thank you mom <laughs> yes yes see you know what i was trying to say she doesn't know she's 20. That's incised. Anyway, we're moving on. <laughs> but this little, little this little plane is number five, and it's twenty-four dollars. So let me know if you want that, and we're gonna move on from that topic. <laughs> Emma's over there shaking her head. Okay, the next thing I have is number twenty-two, and it is twelve dollars and fifty cents, and it's this tabletop lighter. It's heavy. This is a heavy one. It does have the insert here so you can put your butane in it. I haven't tested this, so I don't know, but it does 
it seemed to be in mechanically sound order. Uh, it does, it is marked Japan on the bottom, but these are really, really pretty desk lighters. And these are pretty collectible now. It's $12.50, which is honestly a great price. And it's $22. There's no chips or flaws on it anywhere. Very pretty, pretty piece. Okay, I think that the glass egg cell number number 23 all right so i got you for number the glass egg is sienna okay it's number 23 and this is number 22 and it's 1250. the i want the what what did you want basket. What? basket oh the one the green basket at home yeah i know i have to take a picture of it and send it to you is that what you're talking about Oh, the bird basket. Did we sell it? Number 31? Okay, 31 is sold, Rebecca. 22, Alex. Once 22. And, oh, and Alex is having a sale this Friday at 1 o'clock. So Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. is having her own sale. We've all been telling her to, and she's finally going to do it. So make sure that you tune into that be able to because I'm moving her home from college so I can't attend the sale but Alex is having it all right I have some more things to show here so this is number 49 and it is six dollars and it is a white and black enamel pot six dollars for the white and black enamel pot it is number 49 and it is six dollars and i don't know if you're watching but one of you they bought all a lot of these that i had and they're feeding their chickens with it and it's so cool she sent me a picture of all filled with feed she just takes it out there and feeds her chickens with it and i love that that you're giving new life to this again all right junior m is number 49 gotcha make sure that you send me an email poshypate at gmail.com with your shipping address on it and my email is in the description when this video goes up, so you'll see it there. The next thing I have is number 50, and it is $8. And it is this blue enamel stoneware pan. It's in great condition. It is, the lighter has sold, yes. Sorry, Susie, the lighter has sold. It's $8. It's number 50, and it is this really pretty spongy, the light, light blue and dark blue. The handle is also enamel. And this is $8 for number 50 with a pan. All right. Now I'm going to show a few little linens. And I did an Insta story. If you follow me on Instagram, watch my, I went live on Instagram. Got you, Michelle. Newton's cupboard once number 50. Um, I did an Insta story on these linens. I have so many linens. I'm going to show some of them to you today. And this first one is number 39, and it is $3, and it is this little crocheted pot holder. It's red and pink and green. It does have a little, little issue right there that can just be tacked together. It's $3, and it's number 39 for the little crocheted pot holder. Yeah, that's where I'm looking for. All right, this one is, I don't know, Francis. I don't know why people are seeing things before you. I'm so glad people are seeing things, period. Refresh your page, Francis. Maybe, yeah, hit the little, the arrow thing, the refresh your page, maybe that will work. This next thing is number 40. It's also $3, and oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is a little miniature clothespin holder. Yeah, now it has some little holes in it it is number 40 it's three dollars but it has a little pocket in here for your little for your clothes pins it's so cute it's three dollars for number 40. the little mini clothes pin holder and then i have oh 40 junior m got 40. sorry d diva junior m just could barely beat you. 
I do still have this for three dollars. All right. The next, I have two of these. It's number 41 and number 42. They're $6 each, and they are these really pretty yellow and white doilies. I had a um, tape measure somewhere here so I could tell you how big they are, and it's not here anymore. So these are $6 each. Really pretty for spring and summer, the doilies. I have two of them, number 41 and number 42. All right. Um, Karen, gotcha, 41 and 42. What am I doing? He might need to be, I don't know. I'm having a live vintage sale. <laughs> Buying all of Misty's things. Yeah, hopefully. All right, more doilies. And I have... So many. I, I'm trying to decide if I'm wanting to do a dedicated doily video, which I know isn't everybody's thing, but we're all bored here, right? So we should, you know, if you want to do the doilies, then we'll just we'll just watch it. You had a 5.5 earthquake in Utah. Oh my gosh, are you okay? That's not what we need right now in this in this world. Oh my gosh. I hate that. I'm so, I hope everything is okay. That's not a small earthquake, am I right? I mean, I'm in Indiana and we get tornadoes. We don't, when we have had earthquakes before and we didn't know what to do with ourselves, but I don't want to say it was like a one point something. Wow. Oh, I hate to hear that. Okay. All right. Um, number 43 is $5. And it is a green doily. I wish I would have showed this last week because it would be perfect for 4th for of July. For St. Patrick's Day. So this is uh, $43. It's $5 for the green round doily. So, and also let me know in the comments after this goes, if, you're, if you'd be interested in me doing, I have a whole sack. I'm going to take them home. And they've all been cleaned. I have washed all of these. Gotcha. Linda wants the red crocheted pot holder, which is number 39. Gotcha. All right. And then this is, a, you get five of them in this lot for, and it's number 44. You get five, this $5 and you get all four of them. They're all the same um, size, same shape. Let me get them together so I can show them to you correctly. I don't know if these were like ones that would go like on an armchair. I don't know, but these are number 44 and they're $5 and you get all four of them. They're all exactly the same. All right, Karen, gotcha Karen for number 44. Then I have this one. Oh, this one is just cute. It is number 45 and it is $4. It's super cute. Are you ready to see it? It's peach and white colored. Look, look at how cute this is. It's round. I know that it's probably hard to see, but it's like a peach color. It's number 45. It's $4 for the peach doily. I'm selling all kinds of vintage and, and antiques. So number 45 is $4. All right. The next thing I'm going to show you, what time is it? All right, we got a little bit of time left. Okay, 45, gotcha, Sherry. The trumpet fell off a statue. Oh my gosh, on the Salt Lake Temple? Oh my gosh, th this is not what we, the word, oh, I just, I have made it a, a, a really conscious effort not to watch the news at all today. And I have, I've been watching YouTube videos all day, which do that. I know that eBay is down for a lot of people and all of your favorite resellers watch their YouTube channels. If you want to do something really funny, go back on my channel and watch some of my first videos because they're pretty rough. So yeah. So watch all your favorite YouTubers go back. I've been watching like old, old videos of some of the ones that I follow. This is number, next thing is number 18. It is $10 and it is beautiful for Mother's Day. It's this little Mother's Day print 
these really pretty flowers. I know I heard the president a little too much this week. So it says to mother, not only on this special day, but all year, all the whole year through, I'm wishing you the happiness that love or that life can hold for you. And it is the back of the frame. It is original. I would say this is probably from the 40s. Um, it is number 18. It's $10. And it says on the back here, um, Radio Picture Frame Incorporated in Brooklyn, New York. So I think it's really pretty. It would be nice for Mother's Day gift. So number 18 is $10. All right. And I also have, I love these. This is number 15. And it is, it's number 15 and it's $15. Oh, wow. Uh, it is Armors Simon Pure Leaf Lard. This cute little tin. It does have the lid on it. And it, you know, you can layer it with things, you know on a display you can layer it with different things even take a lid off of it and put a plant in it but number 15 is 15 dollars. it is all metal it doesn't have a paper label on it but i love that it's all kind of rusty and chippy okay sherry sherry gotcha for number 15. i love these things i have these cans everywhere and they're getting so hard to find all right do i have any ozark people watching from um where are the Ozarks in Arkansas, maybe? Is that where they're at? These are, this is number, um, number, what is this, number 13? Yeah, number 13. It's a, well, they're not salt and pepper shakers. They're these little jugs. They are, they're $3 each. I do have two of them. So there's number, I have, they have the same number, number 13. Ozark Mountain Brew. There's this one. Are they together? How, for how much? Doesn't say. Well, how much do I have on here? Well, they say three dollars each. So let's say six dollars for the pair. And it says y'all come and Ozark Mountain Brew. And I like this one because I love Mountain Dew. And this one says Ozark Mountain Dew. And it's got the hillbilly on it. This is Paul's Private Brew. No cork in this one, but there is a cork in that one. And I just think that these are funny. They just look cute on a shelf. They are a conversation piece to say the least. So Rebecca wanted 43. What was 43? Green doily. Green doily. Gotcha, Rebecca. And I'll add it to your pile. I've, I've got all that stuff ready. I know we're waiting on April to get here, but these are number 13. Is that what I said? Yeah. 13, $6 for the pair of them. Okay. I also have these cute little frames. I know a lot of people like these. They are the La Mode Illustre. They're, it's French. There's three of them. They're number 11. You get all three of them for $10. And they're just these really sweet little boudoir frames. They are plastic. They're not wood. But they are the La Mode Illustre. But there's this one. And this one they're all different they have kind of like a little pastel-y color to them and then this one and then there's this one and they are ten dollars for all three of them and it's number 11 on the little boudoir boudoir victorian prints okay and then i have this is number 25 it is a Jimco sugar shaker. It's $12.50. It is marked Jimco on the bottom. It is this ribbed canister, and it has the little, little flappy here for your salt, for your coffee salt. Ozark on Netflix. I've heard that was a good show. I might have to put that on our list of things to watch. The lid does come off of it nice. It's fully functional and usable. Um, I have one of these that I use at home. This is number 25, and it is... $12.50. The Jimco Sugar Shaker. All right. And then, what do I have over here? I have two things over here I want to show. This first thing I think is quite funny. This will be a good read. It is number 
36 and it is four dollars and it's how to win compliments for your cooking because we all need to win compliments for our cooking right it's the wesson oil and snow drift cookbook okay 43 rebecca i'm not sure what 43 oh it was a green door we got your rebecca we got your rebecca 43 this is 36 it's four dollars and it has the Wesson oil on the back. And I'm going to say, originally it was 25 cents, but it's how to win compliments for your cooking. 1949 is the copyright date in this. So it's got all kinds of recipes. Hi, hi, God. hi, Andrea. Is my little buddy there watching or is that is that Evan right now watching maybe? Hi, Evan, if you're watching, I'm sure you are because you're not doing schoolwork right now, right? Well, maybe you are, because I know that you're a good student, Evan. All right. This next thing is number one. And it is $6. And it is this frosted glass uh, planter. Or some people may call this a cookie, or a, not a cookie, a candy dish. Um, the Lucite candles, they have already sold. They've already sold. Um, but this is $6 for the satin glass or satiny glass. And I don't like the way it feels. You all know that I don't like to feel the, this t texture, but it's $6 for number one. And again, I should have showed this last week because it's green and it'd be good for St. Patrick's Day. But you could put some pink e or yellow Easter grass in here. Lori wants number one. You could put some yellow Easter grass and put some Easter eggs in it. That would be cute. All right. I do have this piece here. It's number 35. It is a Moon Glow Bowl. It's $10. Again, I know Evan probably would like this because Evan is a glassware guy. It This is really pretty. It's a little pedestal Moon Glow um, dish. It is $35. Rebecca, Lori beat you to number one. Number one is sold. But this is $35 for the Moon Glow bowl and it's ten dollars for number 35. everybody saying hi to you evan i have a piece of restaurant wear it is mcnichol china from clock clarksville west virginia and it's number nine and it's six dollars for number nine and it's just this really pretty it's got green and black on it it's just a small little restaurant wear bowl for six dollars it's number nine kind of has like a almost like a tribal print on it a couple more things and then i've, I've got to go but i do i have a cup like three more things i think to show you this is number 28 you get both of them for five dollars and it is thank you emma emma has to go meet with her counselor now um they are amber glass these are what furniture movers i've heard them called several different things i actually have a green depression glass one that i put a little battery operated candle in it looks really pretty these are an amber glass they're in great condition they are hazel atlas furniture well, furniture movers is what i call them. like you put them underneath the leg of your furniture and you get both of them for five dollars and it's number 28 for five dollars then I have some doorknobs. Now I've done very well with doorknobs on eBay, but I have a lot of them. So I'm going to show these to you now. This first one is number 27. It is just metal. It's not brass, but uh, it's number 27. It's $5. It, it does slip out. Like it doesn't have the, the pin or the screw in it, which you can, you know, if you want to use it for an actual doorknob. I actually like to use them as decor pieces so you can just lay them you know in on a tiered tray or in de as a decor piece this is five dollars it's number 27 and it's just you know kind of the really rusty and cool looking metal it's worn and it's been used and it's just i like it this one however this next one is really pretty i mean it's like a work of art pretty it is number 26 and it's $18 and it is this is it Bennington wood, I believe. Look at the swirls in that Bennington wood. 
and it has both of the pins in it. This side just has a little bit of rubbing there. Um, it's number 26 and it's $18. And I do pretty well with these on eBay. I'm actually, if I don't sell this one today, I'm gonna take it home with me and I'm gonna list it on eBay because they do do pretty well. They're harder to find in this, this Bennington wood or it's not, it's a stone. It's not a wood. It has like a wood grain to it. And I think, let me make sure that is all I have. I do. I'm just going to show this real quick. Yeah. Bennington is pottery. These are pottery. They're pottery. Mama. I have a couple shirts left. I have, I'm going to, I'm going to show them to you just to see if anybody is interested in them before we go. They are $10 each um, shipped. So I will send them to you shipped. If you buy something already, I'll just, you know, it'll just, it'll just go, throw it into your shipping for $10. This one is a size small and it's Wildflower Antiques t-shirts. This is really soft, pretty true to size. It's $10 for this one. It's gray V-neck. This is the last one I have in this style. So this, just let me know, small V-neck t-shirt. Then I also have a couple more. These are the exact same. One of them is a size extra large and actually they're both size extra large, so that's easy. Okay, Lori, gotcha, Lori. These are a little different. They're also gray. It has the same, more of like a mint green. These are extra large crew neck t-shirts. I have, this one is extra large in, um, we'll just say Indiana, because the other one doesn't have the state of Indiana on it. There's that one. And then this one's the same color, but it has a different design. It's also a size extra large. It says Wildflower Antiques and Primitives, Bedford, Indiana. And it is a size extra large for the crew neck t-shirt. Does number one glow? You know, it might. I don't have, I don't have a, a, a black light, but I mean, just, I can't, I don't know. I, I'd have to see. But it's it's pretty for ten dollars. It's a it's a pretty fitted bowl. There's no there's no flaws on it anywhere. So just let me know if you would like number one. And uh, gritty grit, you'll take the blue print one. This one, I'm assuming, the wildflower one. Uh, the shirt. Oh no, on the shirt, wrong size. Gotcha, Lori. Extra large blue shirt. Shirt. So gritty grit wants this one. So that one is gone this one is left it's an extra large just say indiana shirt but this one Lori says it's the wrong size so this one would still be available it's a v-neck it's a women's fit it's a size small all right connie ashley i, I think Lori said it was the wrong size so i'll just take them all home with me and so just make sure that when you send me an email that you put you know that that you want the shirt as well they are ten dollars shipped um but if you've ordered other things then you know it's just ten dollars and they'll be added to the rest of your package so that's the sale for today i am so sorry that the buffering happened i think what i'm gonna have to do which is fine as i'm going to come here um probably tuesday gather up the things and just take them home and do the sale from home because i have great internet access at home and, and I take all the stuff home with me anyway to get it shipped and ready. So um, make sure that you check out Little Red Porch's YouTube channel. It's fun. She's so much fun. Um, the reselling report. Check that. And Chapter 2 Vintage Co. is having her first ever live YouTube sale this Friday at 1 Eastern Standard Time. So check that out. I, I, I have to move Emma home from college, so I won't be able to, to participate, unfortunately. Um, and then Alex and I, are, we're, let, let me know in the comments, we're trying to do a, like a, a, a thrifting for shut-ins kind of, like where we just talk about our thrifting adventures and the fun things that we found thrifting because we all want to go thrifting. We can't right now. I know some people still are. I'm not. Um, my mom has, um, you know, lupus and so she can't be around it. And my dad is a smoker and he is an older gentleman. So we're all just trying to stay safe. I don't want Evansville to move Emma home, but I mean, I just, we have to. So that is the sale. So if you are watching this later and you're like, wait a minute, I watched the whole, 
I missed the whole half. It's in another video because that's the only way that it would let me come back on. I will link it below. Um, and if you see something that you want, send me an email. Emails, emails listed below. If it hasn't sold, then I'll reply back and we'll get it sent to you. And stay safe out there. Take care of one another. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it all.